Hey guys, so I just finished two more hours of schoolwork. Uh, really, lots of reading. That's pretty much all this course is. This introduction to IT course is just reading, 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 and it's all, it's just encompassing all the aspects of IT from the, the different jobs, systems, networks, data, um, you know, to the history of the computer, uh, what all the components of hardware are and system software, etc., etc. So I've come to the conclusion that if you are interested in doing something like this or this field in general, it would greatly behoove you to go ahead and get started if you don't already know all of the internal hardware pieces and what they do and how they operate and things about networks and systems and softwares and the type of um, the type of uh, jobs that are in this field and you know what their what their duties are go ahead and start learning that do that now because this y you guys could get through this like I, I have to go through these eight modules or these eight units that have individual modules modules inside of them and then at the end I have to take a test to pass the class that's pretty much all you have to do at WGU is you are responsible for learning the information, they give you all the tools, and at the end you take a test, you show your knowledge, and you pass the class, and you're on to the next one. So if you spend, I don't know, a couple of days or a week, you know, getting on YouTube, reading some articles, I mean, shit, there's probably free service, free online, uh, like, knowledge databases that you can use to uh, go ahead and start learning this stuff on your own. So if you know the overview of what information technology is before you jump into that sort of a class, not only at WGU, WGU is that going to help you, but it's also going to help you at any college or university as soon as you start your degree program, because you're going to have to take classes like that. I personally would recommend WGU, especially if you already have a knowledge of these different of these different aspects of IT because of the simple fact that you can go at your own pace. So if you have an underlying knowledge of a lot of this stuff or you're able to teach yourself, let's say you're a senior in high school right now, okay, and you don't take any classes on information technology but that's what you want to go into, start doing that now. It's summer is coming up. Go ahead, spend your summer learning as much as you can about IT and then when you start, you'll be able to just boom, 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 knock that out, knock that shit out right off the bat. And if you do go somewhere like WGU that has that type of a program where you can work at your own pace, you'll be one foot. You'll have one foot out the door the first week of class. You'll be able to do that no problem. So I haven't gotten into my second class yet. I finished half the class today. So it's been about in, in total. I've spent five or six hours, five or six hours just reading, doing the little, uh, the little activities, you know, there are little quizzes in there for multiple choice answers, um, matching things together. Uh, it's really repetitive, and the only thing I can think of is that they just want to explain it to you multiple, multiple different ways so that by the time you finish, all that information is soaked in, which is good for me because I don't really retain information from reading as well as I do from listening to people and watching things. I really, really have to pay attention. Sometimes I'll read a whole paragraph and at the end of it, I can't even tell you what I just read and I have to go back and read it all over again. So if you're anything like me, doing it on your own up front will greatly benefit you because chances are it's you're going to start looking into this stuff the way that works the best for you already, you know? So like, for example, if it were me knowing what I know right now, and I said, hey, I'm going to get on YouTube and I'm going to look around and see if I can get a jump start on this, I'm going to, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to watch a video because it's the way that I learn the easiest. I, I can watch a video one time and I'll remember everything, you know? So that's a luxury you have by knowing what you're getting into. So you're gonna have the information technology overview course most likely. Uh, most, some of you may not, 
you know, it just really depends on what credits you've already done and are satisfied and whether or not they're going, if you can test out of it, I don't know if that's an option for, you know, the college or university that you specifically will be attending, but it can't hurt. It can only help you. So as long as you're getting correct information, correct up-to-date information. So if you watch a video from five years ago, some of that technology may have changed. It changes so quick. Every six months to a year, I think, don't quote me on that, but I think it's like every six months to a year, there's something new going on that you need to learn about. So I would recommend, just on my own personal opinion, if this is something that you guys are really interested in, go ahead and get started on the overview of information technology right now to learn about the jobs, uh, the history of the computer, um, you know, what all the hardware and software components do, what networks are, uh, system data, you know, you name it. Uh, what did I do today? Uh, systems, uh, I did uh, data, the different types of data. I'll have to go back and do a refresher on that because I just can't remember the specific names of them right now. And uh, we did uh, all the components, the peripheral components, the input output, uh, the IPOS. Um, it was, there was a lot. I did a lot today. So I aced all of my quizzes throughout. I aced all my matching games throughout. I, you know, utilized the external links that they provided. So that's the one good thing about today that, uh, that I could recommend. The main, the main thing that I could recommend is just go ahead and get started on that stuff now before you even get in, get into college or get into your whatever university or program you're going to be taking just go ahead and do it now and for anyone who's thinking of going to a coding boot camp or something like that instead of getting a degree i've heard mixed reviews about that i'm not saying don't do it you know go ahead and do it it can only help you you know but it's like a for-profit school that's just that's only interested in churning out people who have certifications for uh, writing code and, and shit like that. So there's a lot of places out there, if you wanna be a software engineer or a software developer, you may not be able to land a job like that, making that kind of money, just going to a coding boot camp. That's actually one of the reasons I even started, or I even uh, decided to go this route because originally I was going to go to a coding boot camp, get a job as a back end or front end developer, and uh, try to become a full stack developer. Well, I don't want to build websites and shit like that all day long. I want to actually develop software. So I decided to go this route instead. Plus, I have a couple of friends in the industry who advised against that. But if I were you, I would do my own research. I'm just saying if this is something that you're serious about, Getting your degree in either computer science or software development or IT, it can only help you. There's really not a reason not to do it, especially when you guys have resources out there like WGU, for example. I know I keep saying that. I promise you I don't work for them. I'm just extremely impressed with how they handle themselves. Now, I work at a quicker pace than most people anyway. I pick things up pretty quick. So if you're like that and you don't want to waste a whole semester in one class, just to take a test at the end on knowledge that you already knew before the class even started, then you may as well look into at least starting like your associate's degree or something at an online school and then transferring that over to uh, a university where you can go in person and do things more hands-on. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of what I did today. Um, two, uh, two, two and a half hours of reading. That's really all it is so far. I'm excited to get into the next part of it because it's going to be this right now. I mean, it's, it's cool to learn. There were a lot of things that I didn't know that I learned today, which is cool. And I guess you have to have an understanding of all these things before you can really be a good software developer or coder or pretty much anything in the IT field. You kind of have to know these things, I guess. So, I mean, I guess you don't have to, but it's going to help you. So, yeah, I'm just ready to, it was fun. You know, I got some, I, I learned some cool things. I got a good insight into different aspects of the IT field. So I'm probably gonna finish that by the end of this weekend. So I'll have the next couple of days, I'll do 
uh, one one module a night and it should take 45 minutes to an hour for me to complete and then by the end I'll be able to take my tests and I'll be done with this class and I'll be done with this class in four weeks instead of what eight or nine weeks at a semester is you know unless you're going to one of those classes that's six weeks long but you have to go to three hour classes four days a week or whatever the hell it is um, I'm not a big fan of that so if take all that in you know I know I mentioned a lot and talked kind of quick but I am just uh ready to relax for the day so I'm gonna hop on Guitar Hero for a little bit and at the end of the week or whenever I finish my class whatever comes first I'll post another video just make sure that you like and subscribe and turn on that little bell I don't even know all the things you got to do but just turn it on so that you can be notified when I drop another video because I'm gonna do these in order so I'm gonna go from the very front of the degree program all the way up into the end. So if you watch these videos in order, you're essentially just watching me do step by step how they're giving it to me. And I'll give you my opinion, I'll tell you what I learned about, I'll share any insights that I think may help you. So yeah, hopefully I'll be helpful to somebody out there. Even if uh, one other person is helped by this video uh, compilation, then I will be satisfied with myself. So you guys have a good day. Uh, take a think about that and see if it's something that you're still interested in. If you are, make sure you continue to watch, or if you still need, uh, you know, if you still wanna see what I do over the next couple of weeks, you know, go ahead and keep watching because that may change your mind about some things as well because we're just getting started here. So keep that in mind. Uh, you guys have a good day. I'm gonna get off, peace.